Letos poprvé vyhlašovat cenu. This year we're going to be giving an award for the freedom of speech and it bears the name of Spiros Vergos. This year the award will go to a very brave woman. And I'm actually very proud that we can welcome her to this stage. Let me just read to you the last four verses of her poem called The Square of Descent. In paraphrasing, take me where only uh, where a star will blush only out of shame and uh, where forgetfulness is not hastening to cover up suffering. This year Spiros Virgus's award will go to Mrs. Natalia Gorbanevskaya. Natalia Gorbanevskaya is a Russian poet, translator, editor, and human rights activist. On August 25, 1968, she attended a rally in uh, the Red Square protesting against the occupation of Czechoslovakia. A year later, she was taken in and uh, locked up in a forensic psychiatry institute. In fact, drugs were tested on her. She was released after a public international outcry and has lived in Paris since 1975. Whenever I hear of this, it reminds me of Abraham negotiating with God about Sodom. And he said if there were a hundred righteous, would you save the city? And said yes. Would you save 50? Would you save it if there were 50? I mean, given that you have a nation of 250 million, it's quite a miracle that eight people um, had the courage to make this gesture. So the award is going to be presented by Spiritus Virgus' daughter, Mrs. Larissa Virgos, who I'd like to invite on stage. Good evening. And she'll be presenting it to Mrs. Natalia Gorbanevskaya. I would just like to say I'm very honored to give this award to you, that uh, the Prague Writers Festival um, uh, did the honor to my father to give his name at this prize. I really hope that this award for the freedom of speech has been given to me here in Prague not only because I demonstrated on the Red Square but also for the poetry and uh, for my efforts in our Samizdat. I was in fact the author and editor and also a um, martyr of Samizdat. I wanted to translate Samizdat to languages to which it hasn't been translated before. And uh, I wanted to achieve, I wanted to uh, get this reward and to take it over on behalf of the Russian and uh, Soviet Samizdat. In the name of Mikhail, Nikolai Glaskov, whom I didn't know, and who in fact came up with the word Samizdat. And in the name of uh, a friend of mine who ended up in a, a camp, poet uh, Loganyevsky and uh, the editor of Almanac 66, and in the name of a friend of mine and a co-worker who was with me uh, on Red Square, Vadim Dalane, and also in the name on uh, another one who 
died in a camp during perestroika in 1986, Anatoly Marchenko, who was uh, an author who first wrote about post-Stalin camps. If I were to list the names of all those who have not lived to see this day, those that died in prisons or in camps, uh, but sometimes even out there in the open or in immigration, I would speak for a very long time. So I just want to say thank you on my own behalf and on behalf of everybody else. Thank you.